Ephesians, you made it to the right place. Just one more minute and we're gonna get the trivia rolling. Those that are brand new and never seen the face before, D. Sean, I'm gonna be your host guiding you through tonight's gauntlet. Checking your football knowledge, and of course, before we go any further, as always, the trivias are completely free of charge. The only thing that costs you is your brain power and time. But besides the point, ladies and gentlemen, 10 statements as always in order to qualify for the prize pool. 7 out of 10 gets you there. So even 3 mistakes, you can still get that prize pool. So do stick till the end of trivia. Might learn something new along the way. And if you qualify, $2,000 for all the winners. As golden chips and hard cash. It depends on from where you're at, so it differs a little bit out there. And of course, as always, after the trivia has finished, there will be a hyperlink in front of me sending you to other places in space and time. I do believe this time it will be football roulette. But first things first, ladies and gents, let's dive into that trivia. Let's see how hard or easy it is. Although I can't really say that it's going to be an easy one, so good luck out there. So hopefully you have your thinking hats on. Now let's begin. First statement as follows. Euro 2024 teams will be divided into groups of six. True or false? Now, Euro 2024 uh, teams. How many groups? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which one away, ladies and gents? All right, final seconds there. Time for the right one. False, ladies and gents. This one is each group will have four teams. So, a little bit different. It looks like half of you got this one right. But keep in mind, you only need seven out of ten to qualify. If you get ten out of ten, chip on your shoulder. Very few people actually get that one. But for the prize pool, seven out of ten does for Belgium, this will be the sixth consecutive European Championship. Any Belgians out there? Can you vouch? Let us know regarding how many times consecutively Belgium has performed and gone to the European Championship out there. Five seconds, though. Is it six, more, or less? Well, false, lady chance. It seems like it, this will be the third consecutive Belgian run for the European Championship. There was a little bit delay because of the whole COVID thing plague, but uh, other than that, it still was third consecutive one. Third question as well, this statement. Throughout history, Portugal has played in more Euros than France. True or false? So, true or false, not true or France. I don't know, that was Freudian slip probably out there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, has the Portugal played more or less than France in European Championships? Seems like false, ladies and gents. Including Euro 2024, France has participated in total in 11 ones. For Portugal, this is the ninth one. So, a little bit of difference, but France is a little bit ahead out there. Seems like this one was a tough one out there. Let's keep moving on to the fourth one. Qatar failed to earn any points in 2022. Home World Cup. True or false? So, definitely do remember when Qatar was hosting, they were also participating. So, did they score any points? Or not? True or false, ladies and gentlemen, answer quickly as final seconds have gone by. Well, for this one, false. I do believe they did participate, but they got zero points. So they lost all three games that they participated in there. Seems like this one was the easiest statement of them all. Well, bear with me, there's still six more left to go. Fifth one, pretty much halfway through. Let's get done. When receiving the balloon Dior, George Wee uh, was playing for Barcelona. True or false? Yes, I'm pardoned uh, regarding the last name for George. It's a little bit particular, but uh, not the worst at the moment. So, George W. Not George W. Bush. Different person. I don't think he played football. Well, this one's false, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe Milan. He was playing for Milan. Looks like this one was as easy as the one before. It looks like you're getting the hang of it out there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it going. There's still a few more statements remaining. So, let's go with the sixth one right now. Good luck. There will be 48 teams playing in 2026 World Cup. True or false regarding those teams? Boy, that's a lot of teams. They'll done as much as there's countries in the world, but still, that's a bunch of Answer, ladies and gents, final seconds gone by. Well, let's find out the correct answer. For this one, true. This will be the record number amount of teams that are performing and participating in the, uh, in the 2026. I needed to check how many are participating this year. Anyways, let's keep moving. Four more statements left to go. Seven one. The 2026 World Cup will be held in two countries. True or false? So the host countries in 2026 World Cup will be only two. Will it be less? Will it be more? Maybe you already know which ones. Well then, let's find out. 
Correct statement for this one, false. In reality, there will be three countries, I do believe. United States, Canada, and Mexico. So, three for sure. Unless we combine all of them in one single group. Anyways, no more distractions. Let's keep going with the eighth one. Mexico City is the only capital among three host countries of a 2026 World Cup where the matches will be played. True or false? So, the only capital among the three host countries of 2026 World Cup where matches will be played. Any Mexicans out there could maybe let us know, some Mexican football fans. Well, this one seems to be true. Ottawa and Washington, D.C. will not host the games. Though those would be also capitals, but like Mexico is showing off its muscles, flexing there a little bit. Penultimate statement. Let's get this done and over with. Continuing the previous question, Ottawa and Washington will thus become the only capitals in the history of World Cup to have never hosted a match during the tournament. True or false? So, will it be the uh, only capitals in the history of World Cup that have never hosted a match during the tournament? Seems like this one's false, ladies and gents. Two such cases have happened before. In Bonn, in West Germany in 1974, as well as in Tokyo, Japan in 2002. So, it's not the first case ever. Let's keep moving on with the 10th final one. Closing the topic of 2026 20, World Cup, the tournament finals will be held in Miami. True or false? Boy, it would be nice to have my finals there on Miami beaches. Although probably would not be too good for the sportsmanship itself. Anyways, regarding the right statement for the final one, false. Not it, ladies and gents. Well, surprisingly, we have made it through the trivia and 25 people out there have made it throughout the whole way without making a single mistake. Confidence, chip on your shoulder. But qualifying for the prize pool and sharing that prize pool, 1,851. Comments to all the wise and witty guys and lasses as well out there. I do believe there should be at least one of you out there. Comments, and of course, right now, if you want to enjoy more games, I do believe there's going to be hyperlinks in the YouTube spaces and time to football roulette. That's it for me regarding this trivia, but I will be back for one more today for sure. Take care for now and enjoy. That's it for me right now. Dijon out. Take care and have a good weekend.